Hi, everyone. This is uh, Rick. I'm the EMEA sales manager for CadLink, and I just wanted to give a quick preview of our DTF uh, product that we're coming to market with. Um, currently, we're only going to sell this through distribution channels. Um, so if you are a distributor, hardware distributor, uh, software distributor, supplies distributor, and you're interested in reselling our RIP, uh, please contact me. Um, but I just want to show a couple of different features that we offer in our RIP, um, kind of a preview. Um, so our RIP is a queue-based RIP. Um, we are going to support uh, a number of different devices. Um, so the drivers will be driven by the distributors uh, that are selling it. Okay, so if a distributor is uh, going to sell a particular printer and they want support for that printer, we will uh, generate drivers for that product. Um, now, our RIP does uh, have a queue-based system. So the beauty of this is you could set up queues for uh, garments that you're going to print on white shirts. You could set up a queue for dark garments where you have the black automatically knocked out. Uh, so you can configure the queue automatically. As you can see in the queue, we can add in multiple images at a time. Okay, we don't need to have, um, you know, one image at a time imported. I can import a, a lot into the queue. Uh, we also have our reserved area here, which will show our ripped and printed jobs. So if I need to reprint, I could just simply grab it here and reprint. Over here on the right, we have our image preview window. Okay, we've got grid set up as well. We also have uh, the printer settings here. Okay, so if we select the job, uh, we have our different print modes. Okay, so if I'm in here in my dark queue, uh, I've got some preset print modes here. Okay, so you can set the print mode, the page size, the layout, uh, and your print direction. We also offer easy color adjustments. So in the easy color adjustments, uh, we can actually go in and we have sliders to adjust your, your colors, your individual channels, uh, as well as your max ink, your brightness, as well as your saturation. Your rendering intents can be adjusted here as well. Uh, your underbase or your overprint for your white. So here you've got your white uh, channel that you can adjust, your choke, as well as your white under black uh, strength. Okay. You also have the ability of adding holes or stripes to your images. Um, so if you configure the cue for that, uh, you can actually adjust the half toning. And if you look at the screen here, it kind of gives you an example of you know what you're going to get so if you know if we lower the size we're going to get bigger holes if we go here we're going to increase the size and this one here is only going to affect the transparent areas okay that blend into the background okay so we can leave the image opaque uh, and simply uh, adjust the background if we want it okay so these are easy color adjustments that we have that you can adjust on the fly OK, we also have a lot of image editing features. OK, so we include GIMP. Uh, so if you are new to this and you have not bought Photoshop yet or, you know, Illustrator Corel, to be honest, you don't need it. You can actually do a lot with our GIMP product. So if you need to add text to an image or you want to edit the image, you can simply edit with GIMP. This will open the GIMP window. You can make your edits. And then from GIMP, we actually have a button to send the job directly back to the RIP. So you don't have to export or save uh, the file, uh, what have you. We also have uh, what's called a supersize image feature. Now, the supersize image feature is great for low res images. Okay, if, uh, if I were to take this particular image and print it, uh, it would end up with jagged edges uh, because this is a low res image and it'll end up with pixelated edges. We have a feature called supersize image. 
So if I were to take this image and master it, resample it at a higher resolution, you can see here the difference that it makes, especially here in the teeth area where it's pixelated, it gives me a nice smooth edge. Also on the outer edge of the graphic, okay? You've got that pixelation and this will clean it right up, okay? This is something that you can't do easily with other products um, or easily with Photoshop or Corel, okay? We also have the capability of uh, nesting our images. So if you have a lot of smaller images, for instance, and you want to nest them, you could simply right click on the page, nest them, and it'll automatically nest your images for you. Okay. Uh, you can also take, um, you know, one image and then drag the other uh, into it. So for instance, if you had a graphic, uh, say a large graphic, and you want to put a, a logo you know, in the bottom corner or something. Uh, we could just grab that. Drag and drop that into our screen here. We can drop that logo onto our graphic. OK, so we could take that, you know, we can place this, you know, over here, for instance, uh, out of the way. All right or if I want to put it over here, for instance, OK? So I could do something like this if I want to kind of combine it, OK? We also have the ability to create transparencies. So if you needed to create a transparency, for instance, this is a JPEG image. If I were to print this right now on a DTF printer, it would print a white square behind my image. I don't want that. So instead of going into Photoshop, using the magic wand tool and, and knocking off the black or the white, sorry, I could go in here to my knock me out tools and our software will automatically knock out that white and create that transparency, okay? So when you go to rip and print this, it will only place the white behind the image, okay? Now for dark images, we can customize our cues uh, so I have some some pre-customized settings here for uh, black shirts only, which basically will print the image as an opaque image. Uh, also have another one here uh, with holes, which would be like micro mask holes. So the holes would be the same size throughout the image. Also have another setting here for stripes and another one for kind of a rasterized look, meaning that whites will remain opaque, and as I go to the blacks, the holes will get larger. What this does is it gives you a slightly better washability and a bit of, little better blend into the garment. Uh, these type of settings really look good on black shirts, giving a nice black, uh, nice uh, blend into the shirt. So, uh, for instance, if I take a look at this first job here that I've already ripped, and that's another beauty is I can rip the job and I can view my raw data. So I can actually view my print data. So if I wanna see where my white is gonna print, okay, I can go in here and this is where my white will print. Now, if you notice, everything is opaque because this particular print mode does not have holes. So when I print this, it will have basically hard edges and you'll have uh, the transparent edges, which will print as a transparency as well. Okay. So that's one mode. Okay. Uh, the next one here is our holes. Okay, so this one's gonna be basically kind of micro mask. So this is gonna put holes throughout the entire image. Okay, same size hole through the entire image. If I wanna see where the white will print, okay, here's where the white will print. Gives me same size hole throughout the image. Okay, next one is our stripes. 
And I'm just changing the substrate color here so it's easier to see. Again, if I want to see where the white is going to print. And the angle of the stripes you can change. You can also change the frequency and the angle um, any way you like in our software. And you can apply it to the graphic. So this is the exact same graphic just using the different uh, print modes. So we can actually create custom print modes and you can create as many print modes as you want to really kind of customize the look and feel of, of any given graphic. OK, and then this one here will be our last one, which is kind of that rasterized look. Which gives you. Uh, variable dots throughout the image, the areas that are white, for instance, the text was white, so it's going to be a solid color. Uh, these colors down here were more kind of that white and yellow and the red. Uh, so these are going to be more solid colors. And as we go out to the black, the holes get darker. OK, so this will actually give you a really good look and feel on a black shirt, for instance. OK, so these are some of the features that we offer in our RIP. Now, if you notice that you've made a, a mistake and you want to make a change, for instance, to this one, I can simply open the page. I don't have to re-import the image. And I can go in and I can modify my settings for this image. So if I wanted to change the angle or the frequency or even the shape uh, of my dot, and we have 23 shapes to choose from, okay? You can choose it and simply apply it, okay? All right. Um, some of the other features we offer is costing. Whoops. So our costing feature, let me uh, actually click out of here. So if we go to the costing tab here, we can set your material cost, surface treatment cost. So this could be the powder, for instance, uh, that's being used. So you can actually, you know, try to figure out uh, a cost for that. But um, you know, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do, but you have your ink volume costs, so you can set your ink volume costs here. Your ink contingency, which takes uh, into uh, account your cleaning cycles, maintenance, things like that. So typically this is anywhere in between, you know, five, 10 percent. You can add in your labor costs, your taxes, so forth. So you can actually get some really detailed pricing uh, for your images. OK. So, for instance, uh, uh, you know, this is an A4 print based on the costing that I set up. Uh, you know, you're looking at, you know, under, you know, under one euro uh, for, you know, a full A4 image, you know, color image with the white, for instance. OK, if I add in my markup, things like that, maybe I have a transfer that's, you know, worth, you know, five bucks. You know, if I add in my markup, my taxes, all of the other items, you can add all that in and you can actually have a job cost, which gives you kind of a finished product cost as well. OK, so you can do a, a lot with our product. Um, if you have the the driver installed, um, we can actually navigate to the driver's printer settings. Uh, via this icon here. Unfortunately, I don't have a machine hooked up, but if I clicked on this icon, it would open the actual Windows print driver, allows me to do my nozzle checks, my head cleanings and so forth without having to leave uh, the rip itself. OK, we can also add in markups if you need to. Uh, so you can add in crop marks, registration marks, what have you, uh, if you needed. OK, uh, our Software also includes a uh, compass. This is our integrated uh, user's manual. OK, so. Compass. Offers. Oh, let me go here. OK, so what compass offers is kind of an integrated manual. So if I uh, minimize my screen here and as I move through the software. Compass also moves through the software as well. And in some cases we have videos. Uh, our videos are translated into five different languages. Uh, so we've got 
the primary English, and then were subtitled in Portuguese, Italian, German, uh, French, uh, and Spanish. Okay. So this is your user's manual. So this will go through and explain how the queues are organized, how you can set up print modes, uh, and what have you. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, we also offer um, we also offer hot folder support as well as barcode uh, support as well. So if you're in a production environment and need more automation from the RIP, uh, we offer that as well. And if you have any questions, uh, you can definitely feel free to message me uh, here on the page. And uh, you know, we can communicate and uh, see how we can further uh, increase the popularity of uh, this DTF uh, workflow.